Hello friends, so now I'm going to teach you how does BWSSB calculate the water bill for each and every house. As BWSSB stands for Bangalore Water Supply and Severage Board. So now uh, in right in front of you I'm having the October 2019 bill. So now in this bill it shows the, pre the present reading, previous reading, consumption in litres, water charges, meter charges, sanitary charges, sanitary charges for bore bill, other charges, arrears, interest and total amount and the net amount due. So present reading stands for this month's reading, previous reading stands for the, pre the previous month's reading, consumption in litres determines the difference between the previous reading and the present reading. Water charges determines the the, the, uh, the liters how much you have consumed depending on that how much uh, the amount is going to be charged. Meter charges stands for if you put any meter how much does it charge per month. Sanitary charges stands for de determines 25% of the water charges and SC for borewell, borewell stands for sanitary charges for borewell so as they, if you have installed borewell how much does it charge and other charges are like any installation charges for meter, borewell etc. Arrears are nothing but the previous month's dues or anything such. Interest uh, interest is based on the arrears that is into 1.66% and adding everything comes to a total amount. So now in this bill, it shows uh, the consumption or liters consu consumed that is 68,000 liters that is uh, 34,83,000 liters minus 34,15,000 liters. So it comes to 68,000 liters. So now how does the water charges come to 1,703? So with this So now I'll show you how to calculate the water charges. At the back of the bill, they will give you uh, they will give you like uh, in which uh, in which type of uh, residence you belong to, like any domestic or non-domestic swimming pool, apartment, etc. So as I belong to a uh, into domestic category, so. The water, uh, the water charges will be calculated based on the slab rates given. Wait, let me clear it. Let me give you a clear picture. Okay, some problem in the phone. So, the, uh, yeah, now it's a clear picture. So now, the water charges are based, are calculated based on the slab rates. Like, uh, for, for those people from commerce background, they may know how, like, they may have a rough idea about income tax calculation. Like as income tax will be calculated on the slab rates. So it's basically it's just similar to this. So like if you are consumed from 0 to 8000 liters or you can say 8 kiloliters or 8 kl. So it charges for 7 rupees. If you have consumed 8001 to 25 kl. So it comes up it comes to 11 rupees per kl. If you have consumed 25 to 50 kl then it is 26 rupees per kl and if you have consumed above 50,000 liters then it is 45 rupees per kl. So in this bill I have consumed 68 kl so so my slab comes above 50,000 liters that or 50 kl. So now I am going to show you the calculation. So 0 to 8 is rupees 7. 8 to 25 is rupees 11 25 to 50 is rupees 26 above 50 is rupees 45 so so for this lab how much will, how much charges will levi so so for this so 7 into 8 minus 0 So it comes to 56 rupees. Then 11 into 25 minus 8. So what is 25 minus 8? It's 70. So now take your calci. So 
so it's 11 into 17 187 and the next is 26 into 50 minus 25 or you can say it's 25 so 26 into 25 is 650 and 50 and above so in this case we have consumed 68,000 liters so so 45 into 68 kl minus 50 kl so 45 into 68 minus 50 comes to 18 so 45 into 18 so 810 so if you add all these things all the amounts 56 plus 187 plus 650 plus 810 so it comes to 1703 as given here for the water charges meter charges and sc for borewell is standard 150 and 400 respectively and sanitary charges is nothing but 25 percent of the water charges so here calculated water charges is 1703 so into 25 percent I'm sorry so it comes to 425.75 round up to 426 rupees so it's given here 426 rupees they have rounded up so now uh, why this 45 rupees actually they have not aligned it properly I'm sorry yeah it's a, now in this bill they have aligned properly so 45 rupees is the uh, due pending to pay yet so 45 rupees is balanced to pay so they have added along with it so the amount comes to 2724 rupees so this is the October bill so now as I haven't paid the October bill at that time so now I'm going to show you the November bill so here in in the November bill 2724 has been added as arrears so interest is calculated based on arrears so usually the BWSSB interest for not paying the amount is 1.66 percent so so I'll, cal so I'll show you the calculation of interest for this so previous amounts bill was 2724 rupees into 1.66 percent so it comes to 45.2 so it round, rounds down to 45 rupees as given here it is rounded down to 45 rupees so now you might have understood the calculation for arrears and interest so now i'm going to show you now november bill how they have calculated the consumption liters so now as in the bill it is given 83000 rupees so You need to you need to take the first uh, as I consume eight uh, above fifty thousand liters, so it will be eighty three minus fifty into forty five. The first three slabs remain the same. So if we calculate the first three slabs, fifty six one eighty seven six fifty. So it uh, roughly comes up to. Eight ninety three rupees. So 893 rupees is the amount up to up to 50 kiloliters. So so now the water charges for uh, 83 kl is 45 rupees into 83 minus 50. So 83 minus 50 comes to 33 rupees. So 45 rupees into 33 kl is 1485 plus 893 so it comes to 8 13 so it comes to 2378 rupees as given here as they've correctly calculated and for that sanitary charges is 25% of 2378 so 25% of 2378 is 594.5 as it is and so we must round up to 595 
as it is given here so adding all these uh, water charges meter charges up to interest so it comes up see it comes to 6292 rupees so this is the way bwssb calculates the water bill so i hope you understand like how bwssb calculates the water bill based on the slab rates thanks for watching this video have a nice day